So my beautiful people, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today guys, I bring an amazing method in earning fast and efficient combat XP. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also, credit to Jacob on my Discord for bringing this to my attention. Without him, I wouldn't know about it so this video wouldn't be possible. Okay, so first up to make this more efficient uh, on yourself, there's a couple of items you may just want to get. Firstly, the Kadoom shotgun. This is the shotgun you basically use an exploit to pull it out of the Doom Easter egg. I will post a full guide in the video description if you want to get this. And like I said, it, it's more or less needed for this because it one taps the enemies that we will be killing today. And also guys, if you can get the broom as well, this is also used to pull out, well, an, an exploit used and you pull it out of a challenge. Uh, both guys are linked down below. But the broom isn't 100% necessary, but it does make it much, much faster on yourself. Okay, so what you need to do is, guys, you need to come to this safe house on the map. Right here, making sure it's night time. See where we are, Old Villador? This is where we need to be. Now, if it ain't night time, you can easily just go to this resting place here, turn it to night time, which you could probably do as well uh, when you want to rotate this, when it goes to daytime after you've done this, exploit over and over. I say exploit, it's not really an exploit, it's just the game's mechanics, but either way, uh, once you've done the rotation here and it goes back to the daytime, you can always go back to this bed, make it nighttime, come back here, simple as that. Okay, so around this area right here, guys, you're looking for these symbols here. I think these can come in different colors. These are encounters where bigger, badder dudes spawn in and give you a ton more XP. They give you like 500 XP per every time you kill it. Now, if you've got the XP booster, you'll get double that. Uh, the Night Runner Potion. This is exclusive to the Digital Ultimate Pack. Now, these you can dupe. They're one time use normally, but you can dupe them and use them indefinitely. Now, if you haven't got any of these, join my Discord link below. I'm pretty sure with my amazing Dying Light 2 community there, someone will help you out. But yeah, if you pop these, you get 100% uh, XP. Also, guys, depending on the level of the enemy as well, these are a level 7 for me. But depending on the level of them, I think at a level 9, they give you a 1000 XP as standard. So if you use an XP potion, you'll get 2000 XP. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so like I said, guys, within this area, you're looking for these encounters. Now, they can be this color. I think they can be like an orange or purple color as well. And there's one other color. Now, worst case scenario is every time you kill these, which will be one tapping them with the Kadoom shotgun. Worst case scenario is you'll get 300 XP. Best case is you'll get 500 XP. And this is at a level 7. Level 8 and a... Uh, level nine i think it's like a thousand xp level eight i'm not certain but they're level seven for me i get 500 level nine they're a thousand and if you're using a potion guys you will get double so what you do is guys like i said you come from a safe house uh use your broom to get over there if you want to you don't really have to land pull out your kadoom like a ninja get a bit closer one tap him and you'll see I get 577 XP there. And then what you do, guys, is you simply come to this metro station, which if you haven't unlocked already, but well, there's no excuse, guys. It's the start of the game. You should have this unlocked. Fast travel to this. I mean, you can quit out of the game and load back in. You can kill yourself, but I think they take way longer. I reckon it's just easier just to fast travel here. Yeah, I'll probably get a loading screen. I always get a loading screen. What you want to do, guys, is pull out your broom. Go straight back over there to that house. And we'll do it all live right here so you can see it works properly. Uh, there's no messing about, no cuts. This is literally how quick you can do this. And like I said, this is without um, any boost XP potions. And if I got a boost XP potion, this will be way more efficient. Uh, you get way more uh, XP too. So you'll come here, guys. You'll scan for a couple. About after about 10 seconds, you'll see another one will appear on the map normally it's in the same spot but sometimes it can differ it can be on rooftops and like i said the worst case scenario it will be a bolter um and if it's a bolter you get like 300 xp for them at a level seven which isn't too bad i guess but uh, with an xp potion that'd be 600 for uh yeah i still think so there you go it spawned right there so let me just fly over to it using the broom like I said you don't need the broom but it just makes it way quicker way quicker and you feel like a ninja so then you just 
pull out your thingy, your Kadoom, blow him away, get like 600 XP for that dude there, simply fast travel back, rinse and repeat rinse and repeat it is as simple as that guys now in a night i reckon you could probably get um if you do this more efficiently okay guys so when your audio messes up and destroys the video great uh, so i have to go back and uh pick up where i last left off which i was talking about my broomstick just flying me into a wall uh a night and how much xp you could probably get for this upwards of 10k if you're efficient at it um i'm not really in need of the xp if i'm honest with you but you can get a decent amount for sure guys so like i said come to this safe house scan the area look for one of those symbols on your mini map or like on your on your screen even not even your mini map and then just simply go over and kill them now it can take up to 30 seconds to find one of these sometimes you can come back here and they're here straight away but don't concentrate on any other enemy guys just look for that symbol upon your screen and there it is right there you can see it 51 meters away so we're just gonna get and then go over take it out and earn that xp guys it is as simple as that no that's not what i want i need to have my kadoom on but dum dum 600 xp simple fast travel out guys run back to the safe house rinse and repeat the process people and i mean i've tried all kinds of combat xp uh, methods i mean i've got stage or uh, chase stage four i've cornered myself so enemies can't get me i'm killing the hundreds of zombies but you just don't get much xp doing that i mean now there's probably an area on the map here a safe house somewhere on the map maybe in central loop we could probably get a couple of these enemies that spawn in every rotation maybe a few more i mean who knows but like you can use this as a like a demonstration that it works you could take this elsewhere in the game and definitely take advantage of it like i said if you find another safe house like this and there's uh, enemies like these that spawn around said safe house take them out fast travel to the say uh, the closest metro run back here and you are good to go guys but yes it is really as simple as that like i said it could take up to 30 seconds for them to respawn in or just spawn in once you're at the safe house i mean i think that's just the way it works in this game but still either way guys killing these dudes is way faster than anything i've seen so far in terms of leveling that um combat xp up i mean my parkour is basically full my combat xp is completely slacking there's an enemy right there guys There we see him uh, over here right now actually this guy's spawning in the same spot every time they don't always spawn in the same spot so i'll keep that in mind they spawn anywhere around this little area and there we have guys another 600 xp as simple as that so guys i hope this really will help you out i really do i know a lot of people are struggling for that combat xp and it's nowhere near as easy as parkour to earn this game so yes like i said i hope this helps you out guys and on that note we have come to the end of the video if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more don't like be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one